from Lankaran, Azerbaijan, welcome to Studio 90. The U.S. Under-17 Women's National Team has arrived in the host country for the 2012 U-17 Women's World Cup after a four-day training camp on the island of Cyprus. It was a long day of travel for the U.S. team. <laughs> So this is our third flight of the day. Basically, we woke up at 2 a.m. and um, we got on the bus, drove about an hour and a half to the airport, and uh, got on our first flight. And then we got on another, and then this is our third. So uh, we're almost there. It's our last leg, and um, we're excited. Can't wait to play. excited to be here and start our journey and play our games on Saturday and get this going. And it was really cool, um, both in Baku and Lankaran, we got flowers. They're nice and pretty and we've yes. been showing them off and everyone loves us here and we're excited Sorry. to start. <laughs> the U.S. team spent the morning of its first full day in Lankaran in the standard pre-tournament meetings with FIFA. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I trust you had a safe trip over? Yes. yes. So one can be on the line and the other one is off, but you can't be over the line. So that's it from me. Best of luck. Best of luck. Enjoy it. And keep safe. So we just received a lot of information about the rules of the game and what's going on in the soccer world today. Um, some yellow card and red card offenses, free kicks. It's a good refresher. This is my USA certificate and it's all official and whatnot. I like it. I gotta figure out where to put it so it doesn't get messed up on my home because I gotta keep this forever and ever. After lunch and some relaxation, the team hit the field for its first training in Azerbaijan. The U.S. team will train for three days in Lankaran, the only venue outside of the capital city of Baku, before facing France in its World Cup opener on September 22nd at the Lankaran Stadium. We talked to U.S. head coach Albertine Montoya and several players about the end of a long journey to get to the World Cup and the beginning of a new one. I think this is what we've all been waiting for. Like it's finally hit us all that we're actually here. We're playing in the World Cup. It's what we've been working for for the past two or three years. And we just like everyone's just so excited. We can't wait to get started. Uh, we've been working hard for this and we're prepared and uh, the players know that. So they feel comfortable. They're relaxed. And that's been our goal as a coaching staff uh, all week so far. And uh, our training in Cyprus went very well. Uh, we want them relaxed, but ready and they are. It hasn't hit me yet actually, but it started hitting um, when we got basically ambushed by the uh, uh, press paparazzi with the nice flower bouquets and it's just everything so official especially today with all the meetings that we went through with the referees. When some of the staff told us back when we were you know 14 and 15 that you know you're a World Cup team and this is the age group that we're gonna make the 17 World Cup team from then everyone was just kinda like wow you know we could actually do this and go to Youth World Cup and play for our country. That's it for this first edition of Studio 90 from Azerbaijan. You can watch all of the USA's games on the internet via video web stream on ESPN3. And of course, follow along on USSoccer.com's Match Tracker and on Twitter at USSoccer underscore YNT. The USA kicks off the 2012 FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup on September 22nd against France, live at 6 a.m. Eastern Time.